All right, hello and welcome. My name is Jason Welsh. I'm going to teach you how to make a hand in under five minutes. Okay, so over here, I'm going to launch a Z sphere. Hit edit. Okay, and a lot of people change the resolution of the Z sphere so many ridiculous times it hurts to even think about it. So, what I'm going to do is actually uh, just go down here and I turn this to one. Usually, I develop my whole character with a one resolution, it makes a really nice mesh. Okay, so in here I'm going to uh, just draw out another Z-sphere. Okay, so I'm just going to make the arm actually, and then maybe, you know, one to come out for the hand. Okay, so something like this. Okay, and I'm just going to kind of move this out. So this is going to be the starting point of my hand. Okay, now I'm going to hold shift and lock it into position, and uh, just make my draw size down to one, and click, click, there's two switch it over click click there's two okay so now what I'm going to do is just kind of move these and hopefully this doesn't fly off to the background somewhere it does that sometimes and I see it's already starting to do it so how you make that stop doing that is wiggle it just a little bit and hit F on the keyboard there we go so just move real slow with these spheres. We used to be able to speed through these, but not anymore. So, okay, now I'm going to take this last one and kind of move it down just a little bit and hit draw, and draw out a thumb. So now that I have that, I'm going to draw out, draw out, draw out, draw out, draw out, just like that. And I had this weird looking fork thing. Okay, so hit A, and you're going to find out it has some pretty good geometry. Okay, so clicking to move, just going to move these out. Move these back. Okay, and if you see that finger actually has the edge loop going all the way around it with the thumb going off to the side a little bit so that's pretty good actually and if you want it to be right on top you just go like that okay now usually you can't develop a hand you know so perfect in z-sphere mode usually after the fact that you get the topology laid out just right and so this has got pretty good topology as far as that goes um, when you make an adapted skin, that is when the time is to come uh, where you actually mess around with it enough to uh, get the, the form of a hand. Just make sure you got the topology of a hand first and um, the rest should be easy for you later on. Okay, and let's see if I can... There we go. See, by pulling that back, it pulls everything else back. Okay, just don't go too far with it. Okay, when done, actually uh, just make a poly mesh like that. Go into the poly mesh, and let's say I go to draw, but let's go to the move. And what I can do now is just take this whole section and move it back. Voila, hand. And it's easy to sculpt on too. Now if you want additional edge loops in the area, I would highly suggest just inserting those Z spheres ahead of time and you'll be alright. Well other than that, you should be good to go as far as a sculptable hand. Alright, enjoy and have a good one.